Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, Joffy Noodle Legs here today. Here we are once again in uh, Christmas Horror Movie Week with our second movie of the week. And we are looking at Silent Night, Deadly Night. Um, there is about four or five of these, um, so we're going to discuss number one today. Um, this edition is by 101 Films and it just contains two different Blu-rays. One containing the theatrical um, edition and one containing the extended unrated version but we're looking at the theatrical one today just because that would be the one that would have got like the release um, on the Christmas sort of time so I'll give you a little synopsis of the film the film starts off with a sort of little family on a road trip <laughs> starry sky to help him find his way. The temperature right now here in Bartlettsville, 21 degrees. Ooh, well, let's listen to Christmas fever. What a night of cheer this is, how grand it is to feel so merry. Life is So this family's on the road trip with, um, there's two young lads, a little baby and a, and a young lad and the, the mum and dad. And the, the lad's asking what time they're going to get there and what time Santa Claus is coming. They then arrive in Utah, which is obviously the town or the city that they were planning to visit. And they're visiting their dad, the young boy's grandfather, who's in this sort of a mental institution. Um, and they go up and meet him and he, he doesn't talk or do anything. I've uh, had your father brought to the recreation room. So right this way. Yeah? Can you hear me? It's me, Dad. Jimmy. So that's Grandpa. <laughs> okay. Um, now, um... The, the the mum and dad and the baby they go in the other room to speak about with the doctor to speak about uh, the grand grandfather's health and leave little Billy I think it's Billy with um with grandpa. Mm -hmm. that's quite a long clip i wanted to include that clip because i quite like it uh, i quite like the grandpa i think he's quite cool and i wanted to give his sort of like 
he's sort of explaining to her, he's scaring the living daylights out of her, Billy about Santa Claus saying that you know, even if you've not been even if you've been naughty once he's going to come and punish her and that's sort of um it's important to the film because it sticks with Billy pretty much the rest of the movie uh, and then after the short sort of visit the family then make their way back Whilst they're on their journey, we cut to like a, um, I think it's a garage, yeah, and there's a, a Santa's just come in to, to buy something. You don't have to come into my store now. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't like Santa Claus? Eh, it's good for business, bad for my stomach. It's not a phony sentiment, you know what I'm saying? What charity are you with? What the hell are you doing that for? I'm holding you up, asshole. Put the money in the bag. So it's not all phony sentiment, is it? A lot of it's genuine greed. All right, you. So he he then, as you can see, the uh, garage owner gets shot. Um, sorry about the little clip there. I, I, I didn't stop the clip quick enough to uh, get the little gun shot out. So I hope the the video doesn't get blocked for that. Um, but it's not too gory, is it? It's not too bad. Anyway, so he gets shot, and the guy steals the money, and he then shoots the uh, the guy a few more times to make sure he's dead. But he's only got out there for like about 25 bucks or something stupid like that. So this guy's been murdered for about $25. Um, then we cut back to uh, Billy and his family traveling back in the car uh, late at night now on the way home. And they see that someone is sort of stuck. The car's broken down. Anybody be doing stuck out here in the middle of the... <laughs> hey. Do you see what I see? You must be on his way to a party. You think we should wake up, Billy? Santa Claus! Looks like you get to see him tonight after all, Billy. No, Daddy, I don't want to see him. Keep going, don't stop! Need a ride, Santa Claus? Well, no, not exactly. What's the problem? Oh, there's no problem. It's just that I ran into a little bit of lousy luck. Huh? So, as you can see, it's the Santa Claus from the garage earlier, and he's held them up, and he shoots the mum and dad, uh, killing them. Uh, Billy gets scared, and he sort of runs out from the car and hides. <laughs> So he runs and hides, and then, then um, obviously the, the mother bit's still alive. You know, Santa Claus drags her out, puts her on the floor, and I think he's almost going to attempt to sort of rape her. He sort of um, rips off her blouse and exposes her her um, her lady bits, uh, and then um, he, she sort of punches him, and then he gets his knife out and slits her throat, and she dies. Uh, and then we cut to uh, 1974 at a sort of orphanage. That must be the longest clip ever of a sign. Uh, so I'll take it there at an orphanage. But anyway, um, Billy's there 
and his young brother, the baby, is there. He's now grown up a little bit older. Um, so they're both at this orphanage. And it cuts to the classroom when what they're... One of the uh, nuns asked to see all everyone's drawings because they've all done sort of like drawings of Christmas, Santa Claus, and reindeers. And then she asked to see Billy's. Young man, you go find Mother Superior and you show her what you've done. March. Explain this, will you? I'm sorry, Mother Superior. Are you? So he shows it to Mother Superior and we see it's like Santa Claus killing some people and he's he's then sent to his room where he's got to stay there in sort of solitary. Uh, the other one of the other nuns talks to the, the the head sort of sister and says, Well look, it's just goes to show he's still got this nightmare in his head that he's still got the fear of Santa Claus and, and it's still there in his head. So, as you can see, he's in his room there, and he's sort of sitting there, um, behaving himself. Um, and then the nice nun comes in and sort of talks to him a bit and persuades him to come outside and play with the other children, which he's quite happy to do. And then he heads out into sort of like the hallway, he starts walking, and he hears this sort of noise just going off another room, and he peeks through a keyhole and he sees, um, uh, I think, two of the older of the, of the orphans sort of like making out um, naked and stuff. And then the mother superior comes up behind him and tells him to go. And she opens the door and finds him. And then she starts beating him with a belt. And then we cut to outside where Billy's up. The other kids arguing with them. Um, and then the mother superior comes out and asks Billy what he saw. And he says, nothing, nothing. And then she's sort of like cross with him because he's out of his room. Although the other nun told him, let's go. He then gets uh, told off and sent back upstairs to be punished. Take it back! Boys. What did you see upstairs, William? Nothing, Mother Superior. Do you know what they were doing? Oh, Mother Superior. Good. What they were doing was something very, very naughty. They thought they could do it without being caught. But when we do something naughty, we are always caught. So then he goes up to his room and then the uh, mother superior then beats Billy up with the belt. Uh, so I'm not going to show you that, obviously, because I don't want to be showing anything harm to any little kiddies on my channel. So he gets beaten with a belt. And has to stay in the room. And then we sort of cuts to the night time. And you see little Billy having nightmares. <laughs> we then cut to the next day. Which I believe is Christmas morning. And Billy's come down. And he apologises to the mother superior. And she says, have you learnt your lesson? He says, yes. So he, she tells her to go and find his present. Um, so that's what he does. Are you ready to be there properly, William? Yes, Mr. Good. Go find your present. You will have no more trouble with him. You will see how well my methods work. 
then she kept a conversation with the nice nun and the mother superior said that he would be a changed lad now you'll see and i'll be making him sit on santa's knee when santa arrives um and billy don't want that no! you will learn gratitude say thank you to santa claus Yeah. <laughs> that was a great uh, a great left hook there from Billy and knocking Santa over. Uh, the film then cuts to ten years later from that moment and we're at a toy shop, Ira's Toys I believe it's called, and the nice nun is there and she's taken Billy there to see if she can get him a job. There must be some job you can give this boy. Why he just turned... I'm sorry sister, but I only have one job open and it's for a man, not for a boy. It's in the stock room, hauling crates. It's just not a job for a kid. I suppose not. Sorry I couldn't help. Well, you wouldn't expect some kid to haul heavy crates all day long, would you? Glad you understand. Oh, here's Billy now. Maybe you'd like to meet him, Mr. Uh, that's Sims. That's not necessary. Billy? Billy, meet Mr. Sims. Sister, uh, he starts Monday morning, and he gets a job, and he's doing really, really well there, and he's sort of uh, fitted in well, and um, everyone seems to like him, all the customers and the staff, and he's really popular and really helpful and really cool. Apart from the guy who works in the back stores, doesn't really like him, but I think it's because he's popular. Uh, anyway, um, Billy does take a little funny turn at Christmas time when they get the install Santa. Are you alright, Billy? Yeah. Yeah, I... Uh, you don't look so good. Uh, no, I'm, I'm fine. Really. I... Don't worry about this stuff. I'll straighten it up for you, okay? Are you sure you're all right, Billy? Yeah, yeah, I uh, never felt better in my life. Then, um, a bit further on the story, we hear that the, that the guy who's, who's playing Santa Claus is injured and broke his ankle and can't do it anymore. So the manager of the shop asks Billy to be Santa. Bastards. Sometimes they cry their heads off. I guess they think the old guy's scary. Silly, isn't he? Yeah. Silly. So we see Billy dressed as his nemesis there. Um, and he becomes Santa. Literally. And he then reminds him of his family who were killed by Santa Claus and what his grandfather said. Uh, if they've been naughty in the slightest, they must be punished. So Billy goes on a punishing spree and that's all I'm going to tell you. Um, it's such a good film. It really, really is. Um, it's quite gripping and I, I forgot how awesome this film. I, I, I've, I've had this on, on DVD from Arrow for a long time and I've not watched that for about three years or so. Just because, you know, you don't want to keep watching the same films. Although I do have some sort of films that I annually watch at Christmas and things, you know. Um, but this one, I, I, I've not picked up for a while. So it was really good to watch it. What do I think of the film? It's incredible. It's a great, great slasher movie. Really cool. And the story is amazing. It does give a different sort of um, aspect on on Christmas in a way. In the sense of like how children are so vulnerable to believe what their elders say. I said, when his grandfather said all that stuff to him, he's carried that through his life. 
to and it's traumatized him so much that he fears Santa Claus and when he's become Santa Claus he's become Santa Claus um, it's really really sort of like a lesson learned in that sort of film and I love that about the film the pluses of the film the transfer is incredible it's amazing it's still got all the grain which I love and it looks really really cool I loved it it's so it still looks like you're watching an old VHS and I like that um, it's it's quite well acted for a, a sort of low budget sort of horror movie um, I did like the characters especially the I liked um, the um, shop owner I thought he was hilarious uh, especially on Christmas Eve when he shuts up it was, it's just really funny um, yeah and it's a really good story there's some good kills in it uh, there is a little bit of gore not enough but maybe the unrated version is gory I need to give that a look um, I'm like that you know I buy these movies and they've got like maybe two or three uh, versions of the film and I always go for the theatrical one which is a bit silly because the under un, unrated one's going to be the one with anything not cut out of it, right? So oh, I just need sometimes, don't I? So I will watch that and uh, I'm hoping that's going to be a bit more gory. But there is still some good kills and gore in it. Um, the ending was really cool. I did like the ending. It's really, really good. Um, negatives of the film, um, yeah, there is none. There's no negatives to it. It's a great fun Christmas slasher movie. It's awesome. I'm going to score this an essential watch and score it a 10 out of 10. It's it's one of the best Christmas horror movies out there. Just love it. It's got its real charm to it. And I just love it. It's just such a good film. And I will put this on my yearly uh, Christmas watch, I think. Um, I used to. I used to watch this a lot. But when you've not watched it for like, I'll say about three years since I've watched it, it's it's brought it back home to me how much I really like it, and that's really cool. Ten out of ten, Silent Night, Deadly Night. If any of you guys seen it, if you have, let me know down below, and um, tell me what you thought of it. Really cool film, really good, and the characters are really good. That's quite a good um, addition from. Um, 101 films it's got a few documentaries on there and interviews and it's also got a location documentary which i quite liked showing you all the places uh, what they are now that was really cool um so that's my second movie so tomorrow is my third christmas horror movie review and we're going to be looking at black christmas so we'll do that one tomorrow the original 1970s not the remake we'll be looking at the original black christmas tomorrow until then, check out some other horror channels for me. Horror Hands, Horror Geek, Man V Film, uh, Iris Designs, Pizzle Well, I Am The Ice Lord, and, and Sarah of Horror. Please check all these channels out, guys. Really nice channels, really cool. Look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I see you all soon.